Thanks, Riaz. Good morning. It is 7 o'clock on the dot. A major accident has shut down part of the Granville Street Bridge this morning. We connect now with Greg Harper, who joins us with the latest on this. Greg? Good morning, Jody. There has been a, a fatal accident on the Granville Street Bridge this morning. Uh, this collision happened at uh, 4 a.m. Uh, this morning. You can see behind me, this was a, via, uh, a collision involving two vehicles, a, a green Honda and a white Mercedes. And although it's early in the investigation, uh, we just spoke uh, to uh, Vancouver police who are saying that speed and alcohol likely factors here. And earlier this morning, officers were seen uh, taking a man into custody, uh, the driver of a white Mercedes. Uh, we know the victim in this case uh, is a man. He was the only occupant uh, in the Honda, and police right now are working on trying to identify uh, who he is and let his family know. Uh, because of this uh, accident, the southbound lanes on the Granville Street Bridge are closed. Officers have been uh, putting up uh, markers. Uh, there's car parts uh, uh, all over the southbound lanes uh, going quite uh, some distance here. Uh, and uh, the latest here from the Vancouver police is that these lanes will be closed for at least several more hours as the investigation continues. Jody? Thanks so much. Greg Harper reporting live for us from the Granville Street Bridge this hour. It's been a sleepless night for crews cleaning up after the celebration of light fireworks show last night. Here is a live look at the cleanup of English Bay. It began last night right after the fireworks display and has been going on ever since. Things are looking better. Here's a look at what France put on display last night. The crowds were seemingly well behaved during the second fireworks celebration. A big priority for Vancouver police was to get everyone off the beach as quickly as possible before they had a chance to avoid her. That went really well. It's very similar to what happened on Saturday night. Large crowd. We're looking at probably around 250,000 people again. Maybe a few less on Saturday. No real significant events uh, or problems. We had a few arrests for individuals that were intoxicated or, uh, or arrested for breach of the peace. Uh, we'll have a few hundred liquor pour outs as we normally do. Japan takes the stage on Saturday. Health experts have deemed another local beach unsafe for swimmers. The Vancouver Coastal Health has uh, issued a new swimming advisory at Sunset Beach. The health authority made the call after finding higher levels of E. coli in the water. The bacteria can cause skin, eye, and gastrointestinal problems. A sign and some tape were placed across the water there, but uh, unfortunately that didn't stop a couple of children from wading in before the fireworks last night. Same decision was made for three West Vancouver beaches last week, so make sure you are informed before going for a dip this long weekend. There's some relief for gardeners along the Arbutus Corridor on Vancouver's west side. Canadian Pacific will not be tearing up their hard work, at least not yet. The railway says it's not immediately taking out community gardens, despite previously saying they had to be removed by today. CP is restarting the dormant rail line on the west side of Vancouver. If it follows through, gardeners are still hoping they can keep their greenery in place without getting in the way of the tracks. It was okay for all those years to have the gardens and, you know, live in harmony. And suddenly $100 million and the whole world goes apart for us. Green Thumbs at the Arbutus Victory Garden are holding a special party this afternoon to mark CP's deadline day. The city is still hoping to buy the land from the railway, but the two sides are far apart on price. Commuters on Highway 1 are hoping for a safer and smoother commute today after a tragic accident in Langley. A driver was killed when he lost control of a dump truck yesterday morning. His body wasn't removed from the vehicle until the afternoon. The truck, which was carrying gravel and attached to a trailer, flipped and crashed into a ditch near Mount Lehman Road and 264th. Westbound traffic on that stretch of highway was closed for eight hours, reopening at 6 o'clock last night. RCMP traffic investigators will look at the possibility of mechanical failure. Richmond RCMP are investigating a fatal accident. A cyclist was hit by a car at Russ Baker Way in Gilbert yesterday afternoon. She was rushed to the hospital but pronounced dead shortly after arriving. The car's driver did stay on scene. It appears the cyclist was hit while trying to turn onto Russ Baker Way from Gilbert, but there's no indication what caused the crash.
Israel's military called up another 16,000 reserves today, giving the force the ability to substantially widen its 23-day Gaza offensive. The development comes after another day of heavy fighting, with 116 Palestinians killed yesterday, along with three Israeli soldiers. Nearly 1,400 Palestinians have been killed since the fighting began on July 8th. Meanwhile, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says he will not accept any truce that won't allow for the complete destruction of Gaza's sophisticated tunnel network, which has been used to carry out deadly attacks inside Israel. At least 30 people have been killed by a massive landslide in western India, and more than 100 others are still believed to be trapped this morning. Rescuers, some using their bare hands to dig, have pulled eight people out alive from the mud, rock, and debris of destroyed homes. The area southeast of Mumbai has seen two days of torrential rain. The president of Sierra Leone has declared a public health emergency as the Ebola crisis deepens across West Africa. Ebola has been blamed for more than 670 deaths in four West African countries this year, and it shows no signs of slowing down in Liberia and Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone's leader says police and the military will be assisting health workers and homes with Ebola patients will be quarantined.